Hello everyone, I am James Devers, Executive Director of Communities and Schools of Kalamazoo. I am grateful that you have joined us today and would like to welcome you to our CHAMP celebration. Before going forward with our celebration, I would like to take a pause to talk about the significance of a moment. A moment is the precise intersection between the past and the future. All of our experiences, relationships, and the knowledge we've gained lead up to that moment. All that we will accomplish in our immediate and distant futures are dependent upon that moment. So in each moment which we arrive to from our past journeys, there is a unique opportunity to set the course for our futures. You may be wondering, what does this have to do with CIS? CIS emphasizes one-on-one -on -one relationships with caring adults. These relationships happen through our staff in the schools and now beyond. They happen through our community of supporters, partners, and volunteers. Each of those relationships are opportunities for a single moment or a collection of compounding moments that build toward our children's future success. Futures of potential, promise, and prosperity. Futures in which they are able to learn barrier-free. Futures in which they graduate high school. Futures in which they accomplish their dreams in college, work, and life. Some moments in themselves are so subtle that we cannot recall them individually. Other moments are so forceful that we remember everything about them. What day it was, what we were wearing, who we were with, how we felt, and maybe even what aromas were in the air. So whether our moments were subtle or forceful, our lives are shaped by their collective impact. Our children's lives are shaped by their collective impact. Here at CIS, we strive to facilitate as many impactful moments as possible by connecting the right support to the right child at the right time or moment. The champs that we are celebrating today are being honored because they recognize the significance of moments such that they arrange their schedules, their talents, and even their finances to make sure that our children had moments in which they were supported by a community of caring adults. We'd like to thank our event sponsors for investing in our kids to create this celebratory moment we call CHAMPS. Our presenting sponsor, CalSEC. Our champion sponsors, Fifth Third Bank, Landscape Forms, Maestro, PNC, Shoepan, and Zoetis. Our award and special sponsors, Abraxas, Basic Benefits, Chase, Humphrey Products, Lake Michigan Credit Union, Miller Davis Company, our cap and gown sponsors, 633 Group, Ascension Borges, Bronson, Comerica Bank, Consumers Credit Union, First National Bank, Sealy Automotive, Tower Pinkster, Unifab Corporation, and our honor roll sponsors, BDO, BKC, Consumers Energy, CSM Group, Dement and Marquardt, Demplex Thermal Solutions, LKF Marketing, The Onstaff Group, Welsh & Associates Incorporated. We are extremely grateful for your support. Because beyond making this specific moment possible, you have made possible the many impactful moments that we will hear about throughout our program. Welcome to the 2020 Communities and School of Kalamazoo Champ Celebration. It is an honor to participate in this year's celebration as the new superintendent for Kalamazoo Public Schools and to be able to acknowledge the hard work and amazing impact that CIS has on KPS, our students, and our community. CIS is an invaluable resource for KPS, providing more than 12,000 students each year with supports that encompass the efforts of dozens of community partners and several hundred volunteers. That is an impressive record. It speaks not just to CIS and its structure, which is dedicated to supporting children, but also to the child-centered nature of the Kalamazoo community, which supports that mission. Just as KPS relies on CIS, CIS relies on the goodwill of the community to succeed in its mission. That support of human capital is what makes CIS a success and what helps our students find success. CIS staff and volunteers are all champs because through your support and efforts, we are able to support our children, 
erecting a scaffolding that surrounds them and supports them while we work to create a strong foundation on which the hard work of the schools can be built. We want our children to be strong emotionally and physically so that the hard work of learning and growing can take place and so that when it comes time, we'll be able to remove the scaffolding with confidence that every child has the strength and capacity to embrace a productive and successful future. In 2015, the Harvard Center on the Developing Child famously released a study that said, every child who winds up doing well has had at least one stable and committed relationship with a supportive adult. How amazing is that? Every teacher that connects with a student, every custodian that connects with a child, every site coordinator that connects with a child, every librarian that connects with a child, every CIS worker that connects with a child, every community member, every volunteer that connects with a child. They all have the potential to create a life-altering relationship with the child to help them grow, thrive, and succeed. This year has certainly challenged all of us, including CIS. In the midst of the COVID-19 pandemic, we have been pushed to our limits, tested in terms of our abilities, our creativity, and our energies. But to quote Phoenix High School's motto, still we rise, we have risen to those challenges. There have been stumbles, it has been difficult, but with the welfare and safety and education of our youngest and most vulnerable citizens at risk, we have come together to still build those relationships and provide services and supports. Just look at the CIS summer programming. CIS volunteers were at schools helping serve tens and thousands of meals. CIS was instrumental in the launch of Digital Access for All, a community partnership designed to provide digital hotspots and internet access to families that lack those tools for online learning. And throughout the summer, CIS continued its enrichment programming to ensure children could still be challenged and engaged, albeit virtually. Students have the opportunity to participate in activities such as beading and music recording. They had the chance to meet everyone from veterinarians, bankers, game designers, and chefs. It was the opportunity not only to keep their minds engaged, but to grow their vision for the future. As someone who spent much time working in career and technical education, I know the value of providing children the opportunity to experience the world and to have the chance to envision themselves in the various careers and possibilities that exist. Thank you. We have not said that enough. And you haven't heard it enough. And you haven't felt it enough in the mad crush to find ways to still see the children as cared for and supported and celebrated during this crisis. Thank you to the champs that we honor with this year's ceremony, but thank you to everyone for your ingenuity and care and compassion during the most challenging time. Our community has needed you more than ever this past year. Our children need you more than ever, and you have given more than ever. Thank you. Hello, my name is Vaughn Washington Jr. and I'm an executive director with the Kalamazoo Promise and a K-12 educator of over 22 years. I'm honored and humbled to be a part of the Communities and Schools Champs celebration for yet another year. The Champs celebration is such a tremendous way to honor those who have given of themselves to change the human condition for others. I know firsthand from working as a principal in the Kalamazoo Public Schools what it's like to have the team at Communities and Schools, also known as CIS, there to assist and provide expertise in every area of student support. The members of CIS make sure that students have the necessary things to be successful in every aspect of their education journey. And I know that the team working in the schools today, especially during this extremely challenging time, are going the extra mile to make sure that students and their families have the things that they need and peace of mind to move forward. It's hard to imagine for someone who does not work in the schools each and every day, what it's like to be supportive, follow all the mandates that schools provide, and to stay positive, ensuring that students are cared for. I thank these individuals. And I know that with their continued work and dedication, the Kalamazoo Public Schools will be one of the greatest school systems in the nation 
as we go forward and look at new ways to educate and assist students with all their basic needs. Additionally, I cannot say enough about the opportunity to work directly with communities and schools, as we will in the near future, be in the same facility working in alignment to help all students succeed. Working together with students in the K-12 space and then assisting them as they move on to their futures pursuing post-secondary education. I'm always impressed as the folks at CIS not only have present day needs in mind, but also the student's future path. They are doing this daily for students facing difficult challenges and preparing them for futures in a global society. This is the foundation that will carry them through the rest of their lives. Thank you for including me and The Promise in this celebration, honoring those who have gone above and beyond. As we continue to work together, the Kalamazoo Promise stands in full support of communities and schools and the Kalamazoo Public Schools. Hello, everybody. My name is Scott Nikeza. I'm the CEO at CalSec, and I'm so happy to be here in support of communities and schools. Why does CalSec support communities and schools of Kalamazoo? CalSec is delighted to invest in people and programs that reinforce our values. These values include education, equity, and community. Communities and Schools of Kalamazoo is one of the best organizations in our community that aligns with these values. Education. Our support for CIS is part of a continuum that starts with early childhood education and continues through college and career. We all know that education is a key not only to personal success, but also to building a strong local workforce and a vibrant community. That alone is enough reason to invest in the education of our youth. Equity. Communities and schools help level the playing field so that every student is positioned for success. Whatever they need, whenever they need it, CIS is there for them. Community. There is quite simply no other organization that brings together the kindness, generosity, and resources of our community in support of our students from kindergarten through 12th grade. That includes dozens of community partners, more than 800 volunteers, the business community, local foundations, and individuals. It's remarkable when you think about one organization bringing so much of our community together in support of our kids. When I think about CIS, I think about an organization supporting education in every possible way. I think about equity and how CIS levels a playing field so that students are set up to succeed. And I think about the kindness of our community. When I think about communities and schools of Kalamazoo, I think about the student who received vision care and glasses and immediately improved several levels in reading. I think about the student who discovered their purpose after working with a mentor. And I think about the students who graduate on time because they receive the support they need along the way. Hi, I'm Martha Todd, I'm third generation owner and chair of the board at CalSec. CalSec has recently become certified as a B Corp, which means that we have a stated, measurable purpose beyond profit. That purpose includes promoting some of our corporate values, including equity, education, and community. We partner with communities and schools because we share these values. Coordinating the resources and kindness of our community to provide students with the support they need to succeed, that is powerful. CalSec is pleased to work with CIS to invest in kids. So why does CalSec support communities and schools? Honestly, a better question would be, why wouldn't you? After much anticipation, it is our pleasure to bring to you Chance. It may look a bit different, but the heart of this celebration remains the same and reminds us that the responsibility of assuring that our kids succeed in school and life rests with no single institution. That responsibility rests with each and every one of us. I'm now turning the program over to some of our team members to introduce this year's 2020 Champ Awards. Again, thank you for joining us as we celebrate this year's award recipients. When this CHAMP recipient's daughter was school-aged, it pained Mika Dreyer that she couldn't take time out from her hourly job to volunteer at her child's school. So, when she stepped into her role as Supervisor of Community Health, Equity and Inclusion at Bronson, she had the flexibility to start volunteering, and we are so happy to have her. 
For four years now, Mika has been volunteering at the Millwood Magnet Middle School. These last three years, she's been supporting several young ladies who are bilingual and part of our Kalamazoo Public School teacher, Dr. Brandy Shook's English as a Second Language class. Because Dr. Shook teaches about 80 to 90 students each year, having a reliable volunteer to help students both academically and to serve as a positive influence is wonderful. Not only is she a positive influence, but she is a mentor and a leader to these young ladies. A well-known nickname for Mika is School Mom. She is always providing encouragement on schoolwork and checking in with personal issues. Our students feel comfortable with her and trust her. It's that trust that's helped Mika build solid relationships with these young women. And that's what consistent tutoring does. It evolves organically into a mentoring relationship, one in which our kids flourish. And thank you, Mika Dreyer, for helping our kids stay in school and succeed in life. I'm honored to receive the Communities and Schools Champs Award. The time that I spent volunteering and the students I've worked with has been a life-changing experience. It's given me a new perspective to the reality that some students face on a regular basis. I've spent most of my CIS volunteer experience at Millwood Magnet School as a tutor for English as a Second Language students. As somebody who only speaks English, this pairing was incredibly humbling for me. Although I soon learned that all the stu students were bilingual, with the exception of one who was still learning English. Of course, we spent most of our time together catching up on homework and providing extra support for assignments that took just a little bit more time. But as time passed and their trust in me grew, my tutor role turned into something a little bit more beautiful than that. We were connecting on a more personal level, and they started sharing celebrations and challenges that they were facing in their friendships and in their lives. I wasn't a parent or a teacher, but I was their adult. And then COVID flipped the world upside down, especially for our youth. When schools closed in March, the four students that I was working with faced obstacles that I could not have imagined. For these young ladies, the change wasn't just becoming a remote learner, it was so much greater than that. Their parents, who were considered essential workers, had to continue to physically go into their jobs and risk COVID exposure daily. There was no work from home option for them, and while the parents worked, they stayed home, and they took care of their siblings, who were also remote learning. They cleaned and prepared meals and continued their own schooling as well. I knew that they were doing the best they could, even if the circumstances were less than ideal. But they were also isolated from their social circle and incredibly stressed. Despite COVID and remote learning, the ESL teacher and CIS coordinator made sure that the students and I remained connected. We transitioned to weekly virtual tutor sessions and met even after school ended in June. Sometimes all four students joined, other times I only had one or none. While we worked on some assignments, mostly we just talked. We talked about how they were doing physically, emotionally, mentally, and if they needed anything, masks, care packages, etc. I was sure to tell them how proud I was of each and every one of them, and I knew that they were doing their best. I am now in my fifth year of service with CIS, and my third year tutoring these same four students. We continue to connect virtually and in other ways, such as Snapchat, Instagram, and snail mail. Our connection is making a difference in all of our lives, and I look forward to seeing them develop into amazing young adults. Again, I want to say that I'm honored in receiving this award, and I look forward to many more years of volunteering and helping make a difference in the community. For 16 years now, science-minded volunteers make monthly visits to Edison Elementary. Initiated by Zoetis senior scientist, Dom Pulo, the volunteers enhance about 27 fifth graders' learning of science through inquiry and hands-on activities. In Science Club, students become scientists. Wearing lab coats and lanyards and occasionally donning gloves and goggles, students extract DNA from peas, investigate circuit theory, study water filtration, and more. Thanks to a grant from Zoetis, CIS was able to purchase state-of-the-art microscopes so students can view specimens up close. The Science Club even recruited Cash, a very friendly and hairy 105-pound volunteer. Cash assists Zoetis veterinarians in demonstrating animal checkups. I've learned, says one student who dreams of becoming a veterinarian, there's a lot you can't see in this world that is real, like bacteria, so wash your hands. I'm going to become a scientist, says another girl. I'm not sure what kind yet, but probably a woman scientist. Edison Science Club, thank you.
for helping kids stay in school and succeed in life. Thank you so much, Cameron. And thank you to James, the entire staff, and my fellow board members for recognizing our Edison Science Club. Many of you watching this video were inspired as children to follow your dreams. And what fuels a dream more than wonder and curiosity? Albert Einstein told us the important thing is to not stop questioning. Curiosity itself has its own reason for existing. And in my opinion, no subject fuels or inspires curiosity, wonder, and dreams more than science. Because science literally can unlock the unknown and open our mind to do the impossible. It only takes a spark. My dad was a veterinarian in a small Indiana farm town. When I was a child, I occasionally went with him on farm calls. As much as I was in awe of the unfamiliar buildings and smells, I also was in wonder about how he knew what to do to help the animals. Those experiences influenced me to follow in his footsteps and enter a life of science. My relationship with curiosity began when I was five years old when I took a hammer and nails to my dad's brand new color TV set. To understand the laws of physics, I told him. I'm still here, so I guess the experiment was a success. Eventually, I expanded into dissection, chemistry kits, and ultimately studying chemistry and medicine in university and grad school. Dom and I were fortunate to have people in our lives who inspired and encouraged our curiosity in science. For me, it was my dad. For Dom, it was his seventh grade science teacher. Regardless of who, we had caring adults who inspired us to go further than just our dreams. We like to think there's another child who is just as curious as we were at Edison. So the Edison Science Club was forged from a desire to give back what was invested in us. As each school year approaches, I share with my colleagues all about Edison Science Club. And then after, I ask them one simple question. Right, Paul? Can you just find one hour to join us and inspire a student during the school year? Yeah, but I do add that if they want to come back after that one hour, that's entirely up to them. Many have come back for years and Paul, well, He's been retired for five years, and he still comes back every month. During Science Club, we use experiments to help the students understand more about how Zoetis, just a mile up the road from Edison, uses science to discover and develop medicine for animals like Cash, who is our patient. Just this past winter, we led a session about germs, the good, the bad, and the ugly. We talked to the students about bacteria and viruses, what they look like, what they do, how they reproduce, and how some are beneficial while others are deadly. As a demonstration, we had the kids swab their hands with a big Q-tip before and after the use of hand sanitizer. They learned how to streak the swabs on a Petri dish full of agar media. These were then incubated at Zoetis and shared with the kids the following week. The evidence spoke for itself. Washing hands really is an important way to prevent disease. Now who would have known that just a few weeks later, our world would be engulfed in a global pandemic. And that experiment would introduce them to the fundamental science being used to discover and develop a vaccine by other scientists in our own community. We absolutely love going to Edison every month. And we are so thankful of the opportunity and support from communities and schools and Zoetis that allows us to work with these students. And while we hope that one of our kids might be the first exobiologist on Mars, more importantly, we hope to be that spark that ignites their imagination and wonder for science and whatever else fuels their dreams. A healthy start in life. That's one of communities and schools' five basics, an essential ingredient to a child's success. Healthier children make better students. If their tooth aches or they aren't feeling well, it's difficult to focus on school. Learning becomes fundamentally compromised. This year's CHAMP, the Family Health Center, has always made it their mission to bring quality health care to all members in our community, particularly those underserved. As a long-term, highly committed partner, the Family Health Center has worked with CIS and its many community partners and changed the landscape of the way healthcare is delivered to our children. As part of their mission, they operate mobile health and dental clinics. When their mobile health clinic, a 40-foot long clinic on wheels, rolls up to our schools, our site coordinators connect students to the caring health professionals inside. 
They provide physicals, immunizations, well child visits, and more to our students and their family members in the Kalamazoo Public Schools District. In taking on the operation of the Mobile Dental Clinic that was previously run by Kalamazoo County Health and Community Services, they provide basic checkups and dental care right on school grounds. And healthy kids, more ready to learn, experience improvements in academics and attendance, and their problem behaviors decrease. Starting with CEO Denise Crawford and with the leadership of COO Ken LePage and the mobile unit manager Jeff Jousma, the Family Health Center works effectively within the CIS model of integrated student services to break down barriers to learning by filling the healthcare gap in innovative ways. The result? Thousands of Kalamazoo Public School students receive outstanding preventive health care services every year. Family Health Center, thank you for helping kids stay in school and achieve in life. On behalf of the Family Health Center, I would like to thank communities and schools and extend my heartfelt appreciation for the honor this award represents. Family Health Center is committed to reducing the barriers to health care access for all members of our community, especially our youngest members. Our partnership with CIS and Kalamazoo Public Schools has been a shining example of the positive impact that can be achieved when organizations work together in collaboration. The willingness and commitment demonstrated by the CIS staff to facilitate medical and dental appointments at the FHC mobile health units during the school day provides parents with a streamlined way to ensure that their children receive the preventative and primary health care necessary to thrive. At the Family Health Center, we believe healthy children are a priceless gift to our entire community. Founded on the mission to ensure that all members of our community have access to quality, comprehensive, patient-centered health care, Family Health Center views our mobile health units as critical mobile infrastructure to bring health to those who may not, for, for whatever reason, be able to come to one of our traditional clinics. Being able, through our partnerships, to bring medical and dental care to all of the Kalamazoo Public School locations is not a small undertaking and would be impossible without our phenomenal partners at communities and schools. Again, on behalf of the Family Health Center Board of Directors, our CEO, Denise Crawford, and the entire FHC family, we thank you for this award and we look forward to continuing our partnership with CIS to ensure access to high quality medical and dental care for all our KPS students well into the future. For the past five years, the National Society of Black Engineers, NSBE, at Western Michigan University has been working through CIS to funnel six to eight volunteers from their society to support Kalamazoo Central High School students. Two times a week, these engineering students consistently share their time, talents, as well as their stories with our students. Together, they build upon each other's work, constructing something bigger than themselves. Principal Valerie Bogan loves seeing the positive impact they have with students. We share her appreciation for this partnership. These engineering students create enthusiasm around learning and shine a light for our kids. The National Society's mission is to increase culturally responsible black engineers who excel academically, succeed professionally, and positively impact the community. To see this mission in action is powerful and shines a light for our students. Working with young people is like building a very important building, something bigger than the Empire State Building and more impressive than the Eiffel Tower. Through their very presence and listening, these engineering students are inspiring our kids to be the best students and people they can be. A young person realizing their full potential is a more impressive sight than even the Great Pyramids of Egypt. National Society of Black Engineers, thank you for helping kids stay in school and succeed in life. Hello, my name is Matt Doggett, current external chair of the Western Michigan chapter of the National Society of Black Engineers and former pre-college district chair. I am also a member of the Epsilon Society chapter of Alpha Phi Alpha Fraternity Incorporated. First, I'd like to thank Ms. Minor and all the staff of community and schools for not only awarding me with the Champ Award, but awarding every volunteer on my team that has sacrificed their time to mentor and tutor Commons Central High School students. I would also like to give thanks to Commons Central High School for giving Nesby the opportunity to volunteer at their high school. I started volunteering as a tutor my freshman year and loved the experience. It is more than just us coming in during after school hours and helping students with homework. 
We know what issues high schoolers can go through during the long eight hours of the school day. When they come to meet our volunteers, we talk to them on a level that they can relate to. There have been many times that I have given advice about getting through high school, telling students about the college experience, words of wisdom about personal issues, or even debating about the best TV shows. After my freshman year, I took over the position as the pre-college industry chair. My first term, I was able to change volunteering from one to two days. My second term, we were able to tutor four out of five days of the week. I cannot thank my volunteers enough for staying dedicated while having college courses and extracurricular activities of their own. I want to end with a quote by Muhammad Ali. Service to others is rent you pay for your room here on earth. This means to me that life is accompanied by responsibilities. This quote urges to help others in order to pay our way through life. It also brings blessing and good karma. I am extremely grateful we have been awarded the Champ Award and recognized for the work we have done. But the biggest reward is seeing students excel in the classroom and working their way towards graduation. Stay positive and be safe. Thank you. As both volunteer and CIS site coordinator, Galnar Hussein relentlessly pursued a more just and welcoming world for all. For more than 38 years, she relished volunteering throughout our community. The Gulnar Hussein Volunteer Award recognizes a CIS volunteer who emulates Gulnar's desire to serve children with a consistent and unflinching passion. There's an old Irish proverb, it is in the shelter of each other that the people live. You could say this year's recipient of the Gulnar Hussein Volunteer Award is a shelter of sorts. Howard Tejma or Mr. Howard as the students call him, has been volunteering at Arcadia Elementary School for the past decade. Working closely with Kalamazoo Public School teacher Holly Bishop, he supports several of her fifth grade students in a lunch bunch setting. The students look forward to his weekly visits, readily giving up recess to be in the shelter of his kindness. With a degree in physics from Kalamazoo College, and a fierce curiosity for how the world works. Howard weaves in game playing, life lessons, and math and science support, all while nurturing a safe space, which awakens students' curiosities. Howard takes moments that arise, like the one time a student had difficulty losing at a card game, to discuss how to be a good sport, a good listener, to take turns, to share. Gathered under the roof of his patients, children dream, wonder, and question. They discover their place in the world. Mr. Howard has been a blessing to me and my students, says Miss Bishop. He has unique conversations with them and tries to connect on a personal level with each and every one. He is teaching them to be good humans. I truly hope that he wants to do this for as long as I am teaching because he is always welcome in my classroom. Howard, as someone who is a tenor singer and has performed solo in the Kalamazoo Bach Festival, we thought you might appreciate the legendary Quincy Jones's musical take on CIS. Thinking of it as an orchestra, he says, CIS is the conductor who makes sure all the individual musicians are playing from the same score and coming in when they're needed. Since 2010, our kids have counted on you coming into their lives at just the right times. Howard, you play your part beautifully and inspire children and us to do the same. May this musical metal sculpture serve as a symbol of your outstanding service. Howard Tejma, thank you for helping kids stay in school and achieve in life. Hello, I'm Howard Tejma. Earlier this year, when I was still arriving each Wednesday around noon to meet with my fifth grader group, site coordinator Joan Coops and teacher Miss Bishop happened to greet me with a huge cookie and news that I was awarded the Gulnar Hussain Volunteer Award. I was totally surprised and in the following hour came a wave of memories from my early years and Gulnar's unrelenting encouragement. I miss her as one might miss a dear friend. We often had deep talks about things, the world, student needs, and how to be in this place of opportunity and make a difference. After all, Gulnar was an expert in healing the world around her through her work at Arcadia and in the wider community and before even 
coming to America. She was wired to spread understanding, hope, and vision where all can live together and work together. As often happens, dear old friends who have passed on still haunt us, and her voice of encouragement is still with me. Guess what, Howard? I think you should think about helping with... A cornerstone of weekly group is playing cards. When I was the age of my fifth graders, a lot of family fun was had around the kitchen table, playing card games, and cards have so much to teach, like fairness, understanding the rules, strategy, probabilities, and creativity when we all decide to change up the rules. And a significant lesson for some is not to win and not to have a meltdown, how to move on from disappointment and learn. That's resilience. What has helped me to keep coming back after year after year? I find a joy in working with youth. I found encouragement and resources when I struggled, as nearly all do in this work, and then the ongoing check-in with CIS school staff to help prevent getting stuck and giving up. And of course, Gulnar is still inhabiting my thoughts. My thought to leave with you is ponder how you are connected to your wider community especially those who are different from you, different ages, different races, different faiths, different abilities, different economic circumstances, and different parts of town. For me, CIS is that place where I connect to my diverse community and learn from the younger generations moving forward, the cultures they are part of and the struggles that embrace them. And this, and in this difference, there is space to learn and grow from one another and have a chance to participate in transformation. The Dieter Haneke Promise of Excellence Award was established by the Communities and Schools Board to honor Dieter's extensive contributions to his adopted home of Kalamazoo and his service for the children and young people of our community. While everyone knew of his love for higher education and for Western Michigan University most especially, Dieter Haneke cherished teaching and learning at all levels and wanted all young people to have the gift of an excellent education and perhaps more importantly, the joy of lifelong curiosity and learning. This year's winner of this prestigious award is Dr. Sandy Standish. Those of you who've had the privilege of working with Dr. Standish know she's dedicated her life to the education of young people. For 32 years, she shined her light as an innovative educator in Comstock Public Schools. Following her retirement from public education, it wasn't in her to take it easy. Instead of hiding her light under a bushel, she took on the role as the founding director of Kalamazoo County Ready Fours, better known as Casey Ready Fours. She spent the next decade collaborating with community partners to build a system of high quality pre-kindergarten programs accessible to all four-year-olds in Kalamazoo County. Parents want their children to be on solid footing when they start kindergarten, yet not every child is at the starting line with their peers. Not all families have the luxury or the means to access high quality early care and education. At CIS, because we are in a similar business, creating systems of support for students kindergarten through 12th grade, we're particularly impressed with her remarkable work over the years rallying this collective effort to change mindsets about the way we work together to support and educate our children, to change the landscape of how things are done or not done, requires vision, a teamwork mentality, passion, and more. With her usual grace, humor, and expertise, she has been a fearless advocate for early education because Dr. Standish knows this. Children who receive high quality early care and education do better in school and in life. In that safe and consistent space, they learn basic skills as well as social and emotional skills, all building blocks for future success. Sandy, in naming you the Dieter Haneke Promise of Excellence recipient for 2020, we give you this blown glass bulb in a vintage base, a symbol of your award from the Communities and Schools of Kalamazoo Board. Thank you for educating our children and for illuminating a pathway for Kalamazoo County to continue to support some of our youngest citizens. By shining your light, you have made our community a brighter place for all. Dr. Standish, thank you for helping kids stay in school and succeed in life. What a wonderful surprise and honor to receive the Promise of Excellence Award from Communities and Schools. 
I'm truly humbled to have my name added to the list of past recipients who have contributed so much to supporting education and supporting children. I feel very, very fortunate to have had the opportunity to work in a profession that I love. And I've been blessed throughout my career to have been surrounded by fellow educators who encouraged and inspired me to be much better than I would have been if left to my own devices. Any success experienced during my career was because of family, colleagues, and friends who joined me on this journey. And I am forever grateful for their guidance and support. Several years ago, I had the opportunity to attend one of the Communities and Schools orientation programs. I was so impressed with the additional supports CIS provided to children attending Kalamazoo Public Schools. Most importantly, however, I saw CIS staff members who were actively engaged in working with children, providing the additional time and attention needed to help children feel safe, successful, and valued. One of my favorite quotes is, children don't care how much you know until they know how much you care. And it was very obvious that CIS staff members cared deeply for the children they served. Under these unusual and challenging times, children now more than ever need to have a sense of purpose and a sense of hope for a better tomorrow. And programs like Communities and Schools are critical as it provides additional resources and, most importantly, additional staff to support children and their families. I've spent the past 41 years serving as an educator, which is hard to believe as it seems just like yesterday when I nervously welcomed my first group of students into my classroom. During that time, I've seen numerous initiatives come and go, some of which withstood the test of time, others that fell by the wayside. What hasn't changed, however, is the importance of having children surrounded by adults who take the time to develop trusting relationships based on respect, compassion, and love, which is the commitment I saw from CIS staff. To every CIS employee, I appreciate and applaud your work. In closing, I would like to thank Amita Sharma for nominating me for this award and thank as well the Communities and Schools Board for selecting me as this year's recipient. It is truly a wonderful surprise and a great way to finish up my career in education. Thank you. I work for community schools now. That's the crazy part. I'm a youth development coach. As soon as I got like to CIS, I found like my place and like mentors were like, it's okay to be yourself. Like you don't have to pretend to be anybody else and fit in to get a certain group of friends. Like if people like you, they'll come and be your friend regardless. So and they taught that taught me to you know really get out there. I was a really shy kid when I was in middle school, so really get me to be the person I am. Like, you know, brace myself. If you need help, talk to a dot, and they probably would um, suggest community schools. That's how I was there. That's how I got involved in community schools. I was in communities and schools, like, growing up, basically, all, like, all my whole life. So through elementary all the way through middle school. They mostly, uh, they've still, they still been by my side. So that's one thing, like. Set me up with the right people, like, for my career like I want to go into, like college-wise, or just set set me up and like have the knowledge, like if I get older, I can do what they do, or like not give up on it. And like seeing people in communities and schools that like are willing to talk to you and be like, it's not that hard. Like you just have to set yourself up. I think we all really all understand each other. And I think that's the coolest part is that we all, you know, we almost like, was all like family. And that's what I like. Hi, on behalf of our sponsor. Thank you. Yes. <laughs> Thank you so much. The wise Fred Rogers said, when I was a boy and I would see scary things in the news, my mother would say to me, look for the helpers. You will always find people who are helping. We have not allowed these trying times to keep us from celebrating the helpers among us. We hope you've been inspired and feel good knowing you are part of a community that chose years ago to create the CIS integrated system of support that surrounds our children. 
Be assured that even as we conclude this celebration and go our separate ways, the system will continue to funnel essential needs to our students and their families and connect our kids to other resources and supports they will need in the days to come. In this collaborative spirit, we have celebrated the helpers among us. We invite you to help too. Please text the code CHAMPS to 44321 to give or visit our website at ciskalamazoo.org slash champs. Your gift will enable CIS to continue showing up for students, providing the support they need to succeed. On behalf of the Communities and Schools of Kalamazoo Board and our staff, thank you for joining with us in honoring this year's award recipients.